Here on The Hump, we bust our guts every week trying to make you laugh. We're also trying to make ourselves go viral so we can all roll around in the huge pile of special internet money that you get from Mark Zuckerberg and Google when people share your content. So this week, instead of our usual panel show, we've put together all of our best attempts at internet fame, which you need to watch, like and share all over these interwebs like your life depends on it. Please support our feeble attempts at humour. We'd hate to have to get real jobs like you have. Make sure all parts for fixing the projector are in a good state of repair. Make sure the point of anchorage is stable before positioning the projector. The safety chain must be properly hooked onto the fitting and secured to the framework so that if the primary support system fails, the fitting falls as little as possible. If the safety chain gets used, it needs to replace with a genuine spare. The projector needs to be positioned so that the objects hit by the beam of light are at least 12 metres from the lens of the projector and any flammable materials are at least eight inches from every point on the surface of the fitting. It is permissible to mount the fitting on normally flammable surfaces. Do not operate the fixture if the ambient temperature exceeds 40 degrees Celsius. It all started when he mixed the band from on stage one night. After that he started dabbling and mixing from front of house and not playing in the band at all. Pretty soon he was out almost every night and started earning more than the band was. Well, it wasn't long after that he started doing lights too. We begged him to stop but it was too late. Now he's out there on the street dressed in black, scoring gear and renting himself out to anyone who will pay. He hasn't even seen the sun in two years. We just miss him and we want him back. The modern AV environment is about flexibility, interoperability, convergence. Your solution needs powerful synergies, undeniable ROI advantages and core competencies. Our range of collaborative integration platforms put you in charge with the full range of enterprise connectivity options, including PAYG, MYOB, MYP and Qs, Q&A, FAQ and RTFM. Our linked HTML5 sandbox delivers seamless immersive multitasking in huddle corners, panic rooms, parking spaces and utility closets. BYOD, BYOB, turn on, tune in and Dropbox. Naturally, we offer full compatibility with leading third-party providers, including Cisco's Me Too Sir environment, Microsoft's Hook Me Up, and HP's Here, Now, Rodney. If you demand everything, demand it now, and continue to demand it long after everyone has left. We are the virtual cloud vapor mist aggregator that you hadn't even been looking for until now. Here at the CX House of Beauty, we only use the finest, road-tested and proven methods to get you looking your best. That's why for hair removal, we exclusively use and recommend GAF. GAF has been used for years to make our venues safe, secure and visually harmonious. So we use it to apply these principles to your depilatory needs. Whether you want to clean up your roadie smile, sort out your backstage or go the whole way and provide 
access all areas. Our highly trained therapists know exactly how and where to apply GAF to ensure that your show is as smooth as possible. Come in for a free consultation where we will assess your needs and prepare any of your loose cabling for the train tracking of its life. And why not try our signature back crack and sack wax for your stacks and racks. CX House of Beauty, if it isn't GAF down, we'll coil it up. All right, Jimmy, in the complaint department today, break up gobos. Uh, yes, what are they all about? Break up gobos. Well, Jason, you know when you find yourself in one of those slightly meaningless relationships and you think, I just need to end this. So you go it. to the person and you just give them a break up gobo and they're supposed to just f off. And do they? No. Oh, it doesn't surprise. work. Big surprise. Big break surprise. up gobos. It's like a, oh, look at me mildly confusedly gobo. Yeah, okay. So, you know, they don't work for that intended application. But look, I went up a bit off label. I tried to use one to break up a fight. Did that work? No, I got punched in the face. Oh, that sucks. Absolutely bloody useless. I tried to bra break up the monotony of a very boring concert once, but was, <laughs> all I got was kicked out. You got nothing. You got nothing. It's <laughs> Lift your game. Yeah. Today on CX Academy, we're going to look at tying one of the simplest but most useful knots for rigging, the split infinitive. Like most knots, there's a simple mnemonic that will help you remember how to tie it. So let's start. The captain comes out of the cockpit, bothers the waitress, builds an investment portfolio, directs an off-Broadway production, teases the mongoose, is indecisive about breakfast, runs a half marathon, and fills out the logbook. It's simple, effective and easy. If you need a stronger infinitive to hold heavier loads, you can tease an extra mongoose or be indecisive about, say, superannuation instead. Some riggers skip directing the off-Broadway production, but this results in a knot that's more like a slow Rodney than a split infinitive and isn't suitable for most dead-hung, well-hung or drawn-out metaphors. Until next time, the more you know, the less that you know that you don't know. The EEPROM memory cannot be read. Contact service technician. There's no communication between the control panel and motherboard. This appears briefly when switching on the fixture. Hmm. Check fuses. Check cable between control panel and motherboard. Reinstall software and contact service technician. The magnetic indexing circuit malfunctions. Sensor defective or magnet missing. After the timeout, the effect in question stops in a random position. Hmm, contact service technician. The software don't detect any pulses from the light sensor for a specific period of time! Hmm, ensure that the sensor cable is mounted correctly on the PL54 connector, or alternatively, the light sensors might be defective. The lamp cannot be struck! Replace the lamp! There's a short circuit and the lamp is struck without a command! <laughs> contact service technician! <laughs> The temperature in the base is too high! <laughs> Ensure that the fans are clear and functioning and that the ambient temperature does not exceed 40 degrees. Contact service technician if the problem persists! 